Hey everyone, welcome back. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to continue posting videos on long COVID or not, to be quite frank, on this channel, just because if you all saw my last video, the video talking about how I found my healing and how I'm continually healing from long COVID was taken down by YouTube. And this has been one of those things I didn't see a reality of. Being censored is just an individual and living in the US, I never thought about being censored, but here I am. So I'm gonna be very careful in this video about what I say, but what I will tell you all is that since the last, last video that you saw where I had a breakdown, basically begging the FDA and begging Cytodyne to get that drug released and to be available to the public. A couple days later, I found a remedy that's been working for my body and I have been able to just progressively get better. And this has helped with my neurological symptoms, GI symptoms and cardiac symptoms. I haven't had respiratory symptoms with long COVID, thank goodness, but I know a lot of people do go through that. Uh, but that is not something I can specifically talk to. Um, but all of these symptoms have just been continually getting better. And ever since I've been doing this remedy, I have lost a lot of weight and inflammation, especially in the facial area, as you can see. Um, so yeah, it's just been super strange because I have been at this for a very long time or I can't say like very long time because there's been people who have had long COVID since the beginning, since 2020. So I recognize just how, like, I can't even imagine having it that long. And it just makes me incredibly sad to know that certain people have been through this for years and years. Yeah, that's my life right now. I was able to go camping for Memorial Day last weekend to celebrate the life of my passing grandfather with family and that was a great time before I probably wouldn't have been able to make it due to just being so ill and having chronic fatigue, brain fog, um, vertigo. I probably would not have been able to go without my healing journey for the past few weeks and what I've been trying. And then just yesterday I was able to go out to the lake with my friends and just lay out and go swimming and that was just something I didn't think was possible. So that was just like another win on my part. And I was just excited that I could do things again. And yesterday I was actually thinking about my future and it was just weird because if you have really bad neurological symptoms and dementia-like symptoms as someone with long COVID, I know for me personally, all I could think about was life in 20 minute increments. And it felt like I physically and mentally could not make memories at all. So like the past six months that has flown by just feel like it's me waking up from a fever dream. And I couldn't think about the past. I couldn't think about the future. All I could think about was my life in 20 minute blocks. And it was just insane. And I think I've shared on this channel just how I've just forgotten like loved ones names, moments in my past, forgotten just like the simplest things, like what I did that morning and that was what day of the week it was too. Like that was just insane. And there was no answers for any of this. And when you lose your mind, you lose a lot of your life. And thankfully, now that I'm healing, <laughs> I, I recognize I did not lose all of those names forever. I didn't lose my past. I'm coming out of this and I just feel like I keep waking up from this bad dream and I'm not going to go as far to say like I was in a coma, but it feels like I've just been, I don't know, like there's no way to describe it other than I'm just waking up and I'm just continually waking up and becoming who I am again. And it's just cool to be able to think about the future and it's really cool to think about my past and to have the mental capability to do that. So let me talk about nicotine patches. So let's do an update on that because I did promise you guys an update, but did I finish the nicotine patches for long COVID? No, I did not. I actually have 16 of these guys left. So I did it for two weeks 
And on the first three days, I felt great. And then on day four, you all saw my video where I had a crash and I was just so incredibly pissed off at my body, incredibly pissed off at the system, incredibly just pissed on why I am someone who seemed remotely healthy before and young and or youngish and was going through all these health problems, like why my immune system wasn't like everyone else's. And I think that's a frustration that a lot of us long haulers have. It's just the fact of like, why does my body not fight for me? Why does it feel like it's attacking itself? And you know, you might not feel this, but I just felt like my body was absolute shit. And I was just so upset at myself. And I was, a, I was upset at everyone. I just wanted to feel better. I just wanted to feel normal. I just wanted my brain back and I wanted my health back. And there was no, no remedy. And no understanding and it just seemed like i was blaming myself people on my channel have been blaming me for being sick um whether it's because i went traveling and i got covid while traveling so obviously it's my fault or oh it's because this girl's vaccinated therefore it's her fault or oh now this girl's healing let's be pissed at her because she's healing so it's like if you are someone going through long COVID, you are always going to have those external people telling you it's your fault and your internal self is going to be telling you that it's your fault, but you can't let the voices outside of yourself and inside yourself get you down. You just have to keep pressing forward. And so yeah, nicotine patches, back to that, I'm getting off my pedestal, nicotine patches, ended up having that crash moment for on day four and I was just upset. I, two days later, decided to go to my local health food store and pick up the certain type of herbal tincture just to see if it would work. And within 24 hours, I felt like I was becoming myself again, which was insane. And I had this suspicion of what else could be underlying, what other underlying thing could be going on in my body besides just COVID and Epstein-Barr. Um, I had a suspicion, but my test had came back negative back in January for that suspicion. But I realized that this thing definitely causes a lot of false negative test results. So if you are interested in learning more about the thing that I have been trying, do go to my TikTok, just at Melon Toy, where I share all of this journey because sometimes if your body has a terrain where you add viral infection or some sort of other trauma to your body and your body can't heal from those things, there might be something else that is the root cause and your terrain might not be as clean as you think. And if you clean out those things, sometimes the viral infections and the other infections that are going on magically start to disappear. I'm not saying that this is a cure, YouTube moderators, this is not medical advice. This is just my own personal story. So not promising cures, but I ended up doing that within 24 hours, started feeling better. And I was still doing the nicotine patches, but it was like, I knew in my head it wasn't the nicotine patches that were working because it was just too immediate of a reaction after I started doing this other thing for it to be the nicotine patches. So on the 14th day, I did it for two weeks. I decided, you know what? I'm just not going to do this anymore. And I stopped using them and no, I wasn't addicted. I didn't feel buzzed from them. I didn't feel like I needed nicotine patches to continue forward. I didn't feel any withdrawal symptoms. I didn't feel anything after stopping. So that's how I knew like, eh, I don't know if like the nicotine patches is for everyone. It didn't work in my case, but it might work in some people's cases. And I know it's worked on some people's long haul syndrome symptoms on the long COVID Facebook group I'm a part of. So, you know, if you wanna try it, you can, but personal experience didn't work for me. And I recognize that we are all just so incredibly different as humans. All of our bodies are very unique in their own way. I mean, if you think about it, some people, 
go into anaphylactic shock after getting stung by a bee and their throat closes up? Or why is it that some people eat gluten and they're allergic? Or there's all these like variables on like, why is this body different than this other body? And scientists don't even know. Doctors don't even know. I feel like this will be a question we're asking for the next thousand years. But what I do know is we can take the steps needed to research on our own, to try things on our own, and to lean on research that has already be been done in the field, and to lean on professionals, even though they might not always have the answers. So nicotine patches was a dud for me, but this herbal protocol has been working for me. And yeah, that's kind of the update there. Um, if this video does get taken down again, I'm going to be a little shocked just because I haven't promised anything. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know, like, I'm feeling good and I I am feeling hopeful. So peace out, guys. And if you have questions, do ask. If you have hate, bop off here.